morning students welcome once again to the geography class in the previous class you have studied about the weather and climate and how this is two times weather and climate are differentiated you have learned but today you are going to learn weather instruments weather instruments are used to measure temperature atmospheric pressure humidity and rainfall all this is the first is temperature what is mean by temperature temperature is defined as as the degree of coldness or coldness of air and the temperature is measured by an instrument known as thermometer listen here uh, now i will explain to you how the thermometer is uh, used to measure the temperature here you can see that the uh, the thermometer is a glass tube so here it is a, a glass tube and this is uh, uh, contain uh, mainly mercury and uh, alcohol so that is mainly uh, contains in it in the form of liquid in fahrenheit the freezing point is uh, 32 so this is a far heat side so you can see that uh, here the freezing point is uh, uh, 32 and the boiling uh, point is uh, 200 uh, 212 so this is the boiling point uh, here it is a uh, 212 degree uh, in our country uh, air temperature is recorded in celsius scale so this part is the celsius scale and uh, in our country uh, the temperature is uh, recorded in celsius uh, scale and it is also used to measure the body temperature in celsius uh, the freezing point of water is uh, 0 degree so it is uh, given here and uh, boiling point is uh, 100 degree so let us see that how the thermometer is uh, working as the temperature around the thermometer bulb heat up heat up the liquid rises in the glass tube when it is hot the liquid inside the thermometer will expand and rise in the tube yes, uh, you listen that the next uh, topic that i am going to explain is uh, atmospheric pressure and the atmospheric pressure is uh, defined as the force exerted by the vertical columns of air per unit of area atmospheric pressure is measured by barometer so this is the picture of barometer and this is invented by galileo and his assistant truly celis here you can see that it is a long glass tube so from here you can see that this is a long glass tube it is sealed at the upper part and open at the lower side the lower side is inverted into a uh, container so you can see that it is uh, inverted into a container filled with mercury means in this container uh, mercury is there but when the temperature increases it push down on the mercury inside the container then the uh, mercury in the glass to uh, to rise means with the increase in temperature it push down the mercury and the mercury in the uh, glass tube is uh, rising when the uh, temperature drops the downward pressure decreases and the mercury in the uh, tube drops also pressure is measured in millibars the average atmospheric pressure at the sea level is uh, 1013 millibars and this is equivalent to 76 cm of mercury column means so this is uh, equivalent to 76 cm of mercury column now you listen that uh, another instrument is used to measure atmospheric pressure is known as uh, aneroid barometer here okay? so you look at it here uh, so you can see that this is the structure of uh, aneroid barometer and this is mainly the inside structure of uh, of uh, aneroid barometer and this is more popular than mercury barometer the reason is so that uh, it does not uh, require any mercury and it is uh, portable also so now let us see that uh, how this is uh, working and they have a sealed air tight metal 
box inside so you can see that this is the sealed airtight metal box and this box is very sensitive to the variations in air pressure Uh, uh, and this is also very sensitive to the air pressure and as the air pressure rises the box press inward means with the increase in air pressure uh, this uh, uh, box is also press inward when the air pressure decreases it push upward so you can see that its movement so this arrow you can see that the increase in air pressure it also uh, push inward so this from this arrow you can uh, see that and the spring is uh, attached to the box so you can see that a spring is also attached to this uh, box when the box moves inward or outward in response to the air pressure the spring expands or contract and move the pointer on the scale so this is the uh, pointer uh, and this point uh, this pointer is also uh, move on the scale the scale is marked with a number and so you can uh, read the air pressure and this uh, scale is also marked with a number you can also uh, read the number on the scale okay student uh, listen this uh, this is an instrument which is used to measure humidity humidity and its name is uh, wet and dry bulb thermometer or hygrometer so before going to explain this uh, experiment in detail i uh, i will once again remain to you what is absolute humidity and the relative humidity about which i told you in the previous class but once again i will repeat this absolute humidity means the actual amount of water vapor present in the air and the relative humidity means it is the ratio between the actual amount of water vapor and the total amount of air can hold at a given temperature expressed as a percentage then when the relative humidity of air at a given temperature is 100% it is said to be saturated hence we can say that the amount of water vapor present the air is equal to the amount of water vapor that the air can carry at that particular temperature then you uh, look at this uh, uh, to thermometers thermometer so here you can see that uh, here uh, two thermometers are given here one is a dry one so this is a dry one and the another is a wet bulb thermometer here this wet bulb thermometer is uh, is covered with a piece of wet cloth around its bulb and the remaining piece of the cloth is uh, kept in a container of water and here the evaporation of water from the wet bulb is very high very high and so uh, the temperature of of this bulb is lower than the dry bulb so here you can see that the temperature of this wet bulb the ther- uh, thermometer is lower than this uh, dry one and again that uh, the difference in temperature between the two thermometer indicates that the relative humidity saturated air will not allow you evaporation and in that case the temperature reading on both the dry and uh, wet thermometers will be the same this would uh, mean the relative humidity is uh, 100% 